Hello, dear traders. I'm Maria Sardop, and this is the review of Crypto Analytics from FX.co. It's the 3rd of March today, Friday. And uh, in our today's review, first we will discuss uh, an interesting survey by Morning Consult that can be a reason for optimism about the future of cryptocurrencies. And then uh, we will overview technical uh, outlook for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Let's start. We'll start with an article by Sebastian Seliga. And first, some news. Uh, um, we will discuss the survey by Morning Consult. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so, Sebastian writes that despite the difficulties uh, faced the, uh, by the cryptocurrency in 2022 and the fact that Bitcoin remains more than 65% of its all-time high of 68,789, there is uh, a reason to be optimistic about the future of cryptocurrencies and the result of uh, a recent study by Morning Consult can be optimistic. The survey found that 80% of American adults are frustrated with inequity in the financial system and believe it favors those with powerful businesses, with 67% uh, of respondents agreeing that the financial system needs major change or complete overhaul, while only four say that no changes are needed. An alliance survey found that the most popular word associations with the global financial system were expensive, injustice, and confusing. And uh, as perceptions of inequity increase, interest of engaging uh, with the crypto ecosystem and owning cryptocurrencies has held steady with 20% of American adults now owning at least one digital asset. Okay, and now let's get to technical picture of first Bitcoin, what's happening to the flagship cryptocurrency. Let's have a look at the chart. Um, so Bitcoin has failed to break above the 50 moving average on the four hour time frame chart, reversed lower and after short period of horizontal trading inside the narrow range seen between the levels of 23,044 and 23,885, the bears spiked to the downside. And the intraday technical support seen at the level of 23,114 and 22,775 will now act as technical resistance as the low during the spike down was made at the level of 22,000. And the market is now developing a new corrective cycle. The weak negative momentum on the time frame chart supports the short term bearish outlook. Uh, so, despite the recent rally, the downtrend on the four hour daily and weekly time frames continues without any indication of a possible trend termination or reversal. So far, every bounce and attempt to rally is being used to sell Bitcoin for a better price by market participants, so the bearish pressure is still high. And the game-changing level for bulls is located at 25,442 and must be clearly violated for a valid breakout in the longer term. Okay, let's have a look at the chart for the moment. And yes, we see that very um, heavy decline um, right at the start of today. Uh, yesterday, Bitcoin was at uh, points 23,400 something and it opened today at 23,435 and then it sharply declined uh, almost to 22,200 and then retreated a little and now it is trading at 22,394. Okay, now let's uh, get to another article also by Sebastian Selig and Ethereum. 
Um, let's have a look at the chart also. Uh, so Ethereum has reversed from the level of 1677 after three wave up move has been had been terminated with a shooting star candlestick pattern on four time frame chart. The bears has managed to push uh, the price towards the key short term technical support seen at the level 1558 and made the new local low at the level of 1542. The intraday technical resistance is seen at the level of 1677 and 1680. As a thing break out below the level of 1487 would change the midterm outlook to bearish. So please keep an eye on this uh, very point. Any violation of this level would likely extend the drop towards 1345, but in order to do this, volatility must increase significantly. Okay, let's have a look at the chart of the theorem for the moment. And of course, we see the same picture, uh, the same uh, to Bitcoin. Um, it um, it was trading yesterday at points 1640 50 uh, it opened today at the point 1644 and then it sharply declined and uh, it lost almost 100 um, and now it is trading at the point 1569. Now let's say also a couple of words about Litecoin and the next article by Tobin Melsted. So again, let's have a look at the chart and Litecoin failed to build momentum after breaking above minor resistance at 96.02 and has instead seen a decline to the support line near uh, 85.85. We could see Litecoin move a bit lower to test uh, the balance at 82.68 before charging higher again towards 1200. Uh, I'm sorry, 121.68 and possibly even closer to 136 as the bullish momentum builds. However, for now, he says, we need to see evidence that the corrective decline from 105.67 has been completed and a new impulsive rally is unfolding. Uh, so Tobin is quite optimistic about cryptocurrencies and Litecoin. Uh, let's have a look at the chart. And um, also... Mm, uh, the same picture, of course. Uh, Litecoin uh, was trading yesterday at 0.94, uh, 93, uh, and it opened today at 0.94.26 and uh, also sharply declined, and now it is trading at 0.88.11. Um, well, this is all for today. Uh, I wish you a successful weekend, fun weekend, and uh, we'll see each other in our next review on Monday. Uh, I wish you profitable trading as usual, and don't forget to write comments and questions down below, and till next time, goodbye.